Hello everyone and welcome to MT World. Today we are here at Moxa. Uh, it's a quite newly opened restaurant here in Ubud, Bali. And they have vegan and raw food dishes and also a permaculture garden. So today we're gonna go and look at the garden, try their food and the drinks and yeah, follow us. <music> Our idea is uh, a concept here is uh, from um, garden to table and then from table go back to garden. So anything that we not use, we, we make a compost out of it and you know, put it back to the garden. So as you see, we're ordering first a lot of juices and smoothies we're gonna try. And first we're gonna try this one, blood and liver cleansing, or liver and blood cleansing. And it's with carrot, beetroot, uh, green celery, wheatgrass, garlic, ginger, apple and lime. Cheers, guys. really refreshing you can feel the beetroot you can feel the lime it comes up a very nice freshness and then the greens also comes up it's really nice and if you see the straws I think it's from like uh, papaya uh, stems or something really cool perfect for composting and we also ordered a shot and it's with a megabiotic uh, it's usually with coconut water probiotic and rice syrup but we took it without rice syrup so yeah I accidentally told you wrong about this sh um, shooter the um, drink it was aloe vera gin lemon ginger cayenne and honey so yeah and this should be really good for the stomach so let's try it Ooh. whoa it's really strong I wouldn't do tastes really like C vitamin rich tastes more like a citrus juice like a really heavy like um, pressed um, lime really like concentrated lime or something it was really interesting really strong uh, yeah probably really good for the stomach inside the greenery wake up juice and inside is spinach kale celery parsley cucumber green apple lime and fresh ginger Really nice, got the really taste of a green, green juice. You can feel the flavors and the cucumber, and it's really good balance because sometimes you can put the green juices so they get too strong or taste too little. But this one just have a perfect balance, so I really like this one. It's really good. This is the megabiotic with coconut water and probiotic. And that's usually with the rice syrup, but we change it without rice syrup. So it looks really cool. It looks like coconut water, but with a twist. You can feel the probiotics. Really fresh. And yeah, it tastes like, you know, a little bit like yogurt, like culture, because of the probiotics. But, and then, but then you get this coconut flavor. So it's, it's really good. I'm gonna try the antioxidant booster and inside this we have pineapple, apple, alfalfa sprout, wheatgrass, parsley, kale, broccoli and wheatgrass. Tastes also like a green juice but a bit sweeter and also you can feel the wheatgrass inside also have a quite significant uh, taste and yeah, I really really like it. So now we're ready with the juices and we're gonna go over to the smoothies. So uh, this is the green energy smoothie 
and that is kale, banana, orange, strawberry, dates, jackfruit and spirulina. And it looks really cool with the orange on the side and the papaya bamboo uh, papaya straw. Mm. I get a lot of orange and also uh, also the spirulina. So it tastes a lot of orange and spirulina with the banana and yeah, it's really good. I think the probably the jackfruit is frozen or something because it's really cold and yeah, uh, yummy. Yeah, it's so really sweet. Just came in with some uh, uh, juice that shot that was not on the menu, but they yeah. knew we want to try something. So really sweet of them. Yeah. Cheers. Watermelon and something else like strawberry? No, not yes. strawberry. Yeah, a bit like strawberry taste. But. So now I'm going to try the last smoothie we brought in. It's a tropical fruit smoothie. And inside we have, normally it's coconut milk, but we took it without coconut milk. So it's banana, mango, papaya, pineapple, goji berry, matcha and bee pollen. Really sweet and interesting taste. I can't really taste it. It tastes almost like a bit of honey, but not honey. Um, it's you the can feel the, the go goji berry. Probably the Really, pollen. really nice. Really nice. I like this smoothie. It's so good. Okay, lapo kalamaki. So, spring roll. Oh, yeah. What is the taco shells made of? Um, corn and flaxseed. Corn and flaxseed, oh nice. This is good. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So now we got in our starters. And here we have these uh, spring rolls. And I will read what it is. This is spring rolls, raw spring rolls. So it's not wrapped in rice paper. It's soft massage, fresh vegetables from our garden filled with rolled filled in and rolled in young coconut wrapper uh, served with tamarind papaya dipping sauce. So, so I'm gonna take one. It looks really cool with this wrap thing. I'm gonna take some sauce on top and let's try it. The vegetables inside are marinated or fermented. Some of them. Either way I think but it's so crispy, you get this tangliness and the sweetness from the sauce is really good. It's really fresh and you get a little bit of the co coconut flavor from the wrapping. That is soft, so it tastes uh, exactly almost like, we have the same consistency like the rice paper. And yeah, it's really delicious with the, it's a little bit spiciness also here. So I really like it. Try the sushi. The kale, avocado, maki, and uh, it's kale, alfalfa, sprouts, avocado, jicama, carrot, red bell pepper, roll up in an ori weed, and uh, I got the special sauce with uh, uh, papaya and uh, some chili and uh, some tamarind. That's right. Usually it is other sauce. Usually. <laughs> so, oops. Okay. Mm. Really nice, really crunchy. Good combination with the sprouts and then the cucumber and the yikama root. Yeah. It's really good. It mixed between softness and the crunchiness. Super good. So now I'm gonna try. So now I'm gonna try the ja uh, tropical jackfruit tacos. So it's young jackfruit, red onion, bell pepper, and cilantro served on the corn shell with tomato, salsa, avocado, greens, and coconut sour cream. So the shell is made of uh, corn and flax seeds. So it looks really delicious. I never tried jackfruit like this. So it's gonna be really cool to try it. So now I'm gonna try it. And it's a little bit warm. And yeah, it's, it's kind of soft, but it's still crunchy, the shell. It's really hard to eat, probably. I try to fit something. It's um, the yakus. It's really good. It's, it tastes like um, they did it with um, the taco flavors, you know. So it's really, it really tastes like taco meat. 
and yeah, everything. The shell is really good. You know, it tastes like normal tacos. It's really good with this sour cream on top and the avocado and tomatoes. And you have the corn here. I, I, I really like it. It's super good. Try with the salad also. Mm. Have another bite. Yeah, it tastes exactly. I don't know what's in there really in taco mixture. Do you know what's in taco spice mix? Paprika, probably and cumin, um, tomato and chili. It's really good. Yeah, so it's get a bit darker now, so I'm sorry for the white light, but we have to have the cell phone behind the camera so we can film and get proper light. So with that said, now our main course have come in and I ordered the filet mignon or yaki mignon and it is young uh, grilled jackfruit with uh, served with purple sweet potato fries, braised cabbage with cum cumin and Crescent with a vegan creamy mushroom and uh, Dijon mustard sauce. So this is the creation, and it looks maybe not so colorful, but it looks really amazing. Also, this grilled jackfruit is really really cool. So yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take some bits and pieces, dip into the sauce, take some of the cabbage, and I think the sweet potato. Yeah. It's like sweet potato under here. This looks not so colorful, but yeah, try it. It's mm. 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 What can I say? This is amazing. It's like eating grilled, uh, I don't know, the flavor, then seasoning with the jackfruit. It's like going on a fantastic barbecue and it's get perfect combination with the sweet potato cake here also how they are served how they are presented they are really good and the sauce here is really really nice I love it so now I'm gonna try the healing salad and in the healing salad is massaged kale purple cabbage Mint leaves, gotta cola, fresh basil, moringa, and sprouts served with lemongrass and goji berry dressing. So, yeah, let's try it. it Look really fresh and some avocado on top. So, I'm gonna try some. Really cool with the um, sprouts and the avocado. Get some avocado. Mm. Let's try it. Really crispy and light, and um, also they drizzle some um, lime juice of it. And um, it's really good with avocados and really fresh and vibrant sun. So delicious. So, this is how you get healed <laughs> with this healing sound. So, now I got in the eggplant redong. I don't really know how to say it, but redong. And it's grilled eggplant in spicy, spicy coconut gravy served with brown rice uh, salsa. Uh, Chinese cabbage kimchi and usually pink, uh, pickled vegetables but I took without pickled vegetables <laughs> so it looks really cool and it's eggplant and rice and some salad and this sauce is with coconuts and some spices and some herbs so it looks really cool so I'm gonna try it so I'm gonna take a little bit of that some rice and some kimchi. Mm. Kimchi. Top. And let's try it. Mm. It's really good. The kimchi is really good. It's a little bit spicy and eggplant is cooked perfectly soft but still a little bit like texture on it 
and the brown rice is really good. It's um, pretty good. Like it's not crunchy, like um, it's not uncooked, but it's you know with um, when it's um, like brown rice, it's have it's not the same as white rice, so it gives a little bit like chewiness, and I really like it. It was really good. I like when it's not too spicy, but it's a little bit like spicy and a lot of different herbs and flavors. So it's a really good dish. I really love it. Now we order in. Uh, we weren't supposed to order in this, but then they said this is a really popular dish. Many people order in, and it's a starter. And it's uh, coconut mushroom. It's uh, trio mushroom. Uh, galangal, carrot and baby tomatoes in a rich lemongrass coconut broth so it's gonna be very interesting to see and try this it looks very nice quite creamy you can see maybe the mushrooms inside here and it's really warm take up some leek there and maybe some tomato or something here very hot, I have to cool it down a bit. It is fantastic. So creamy, so rich with that tomato combined with the mushrooms and the coconut and a little bit of the leek or the chives there such a rich creaminess. I understand why this is the uh, dish people order, order in a lot. It's creamy mushroom soup to the perfection. Yeah. yeah. So now we finish at Moxa restaurant. Yeah, uh, with the dinner and all our drinks and it was so, so delicious. It was fantastic. I really love the food. The uses was really, really good and the flavors of the dishes and the composition of the dishes, the way it was pre presented was yeah. so fantastic. And I wish this would like taste and uh, TV and like uh, smell TV because it smells so good. It tasted even better and the presentation was fantastic. It was like fine dining, but so nice and yeah. the staff so friendly and the chef so nice and they really understand like English so they when you have like allergies like Tobias have for nuts. Yeah it feels so safe I never felt more safe because uh, the staff could speak really good English and I can explain about my nut allergy and uh, they really like uh, took care of it and uh, just uh, put a note to the chef and uh, I felt so safe eating here and uh, yeah, usually I have like when you we tell you like what dishes we like the best, but here it's like I can't even choose because all of them were so good. Yeah, and that that is that is unusual for yeah. us. Well, one of the dishes I really really like was the last course, the creamy mushroom soup. It was like perfect combination of everything together, but also like the main course, the uh, mignon uh, jackfruit was so good and the tacos. It was really nice and with the taco shells, normally people put nuts in when they dehydrating. So I'd never had a chance to try uh, like uh, a taco like that before and uh, it tasted so good. Yeah, everything was so good and it's not so over salty or over oily or anything like that and we asked to, to for less salt and oil also and some of the dishes without oil and salt and so they could really do a really good job and they listen to your criteria what you want and what you don't want and like in the smoothies we took without some, off some things and it was no problem for them and that's really good that you can just customize if you don't like anything like on the menu you can just, sometimes you can I understand if you're doing like a raw lasagna then you if you take off the nuts there is no lasagna anymore but but you, you understand how I mean uh, if it's like a smoothie you can take off some things and yeah yeah and it was also really good we ordered a lot of dishes and they came out pretty fast so yeah. the service is super super good and uh, for me I would say this is uh, probably one of the best vegan restaurants I ever been to in my life yeah it's so good and the plates also the one of the chefs uh, his wife makes these beautiful plates and in the future they're gonna sell them in they're gonna have a small shop and sell 
these uh, beautiful creations. Yeah, and it's it's really personalized uh, when you are here. Also, like the owner, he came and talked with us and asked what to think about the food, and uh, really, really friendly. So you feel uh, like uh, it's perfect here, and the atmosphere is beautiful by the rice field and the, and the permaculture garden, and yeah, everything is really nice. And the seating area, like we had, like with pillows and so nice and they also have tables and yeah it's really really nice yeah. i mean we can't we say it all the time but we, this is really really good yeah i would recommend this restaurant to any people that like good food because here you get food in the perfection yeah you get everything flavor wise texture wise uh, presentation wise and like it go, comes out fast not too fast but it comes out really fast and friendly stuff you get everything like nice area nice seating like calm area so it's no like big road close by and yeah. it's so good yeah and also it's uh, really cool because every saturday the owner told us they're going to have and uh, start and have uh, organic farmers market just uh, by the restaurants it's really good everything goes together organic yeah. garden beautiful fantastic super delicious restaurant and then a farmers market can it be better yeah so we can't even uh, know like they have been open like five months and so good so I hope they're gonna be here forever <laughs> yeah so yeah so if you like this video please this put video your thumbs, thumbs up. up do you want to see more restaurant reviews from us please comment down below have you been to Moxa restaurant please comment down below what you think about the food and what was your favorite dish yeah and also if you're coming here to Bali we really recommend you to come and visit here please let us know if you come here and what you tasted and how do you like it yeah. and yeah let us know if you're coming here and comment down below and yeah. also if the restaurant is <laughs> in uh, Ubud and it's in Panastanan outside Ubud yeah so also if you know anybody that's coming to Bali please share this video with them so they also can come here and eat this fantastic food and also share this on any social media so we can spread the love to all fruity people and foodie people that really like this vegan, healthy, delicious, nice, uh, vibrant food. So please share this on any social media. And yeah, put your comments, put your thumbs <laughs> up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it. And yeah, and send this to all your friends. Absolutely. <laughs> if you like us. Yeah. So, so, so are we, we done continue. or is it anything yeah, more? I was, uh, just send it to everybody so we can continue doing our job and support us that so we'll be really thankful for that absolutely so with that said have a beautiful, beautiful and, and fruitful, fruitful day, day. bye, bye.